so kelvin's double bridge ma uh, it is a bridge which is used to measure low value of unknown resistance okay so i already uh, told you know that uh, kelvin double bridge con crompton dc potential crompton dc potentiometer will comes under dc bridges okay so by uh, we are calculating resistance right so this is it will comes under dc bridge and uh, capacitance and inductance comes under ac bridges there we are giving the ac supply okay that is 1 kilohertz frequency okay here i am uh, using the dc supply that is a 2 volts okay so kelvin's double bridge ma this uh, which is used to measure low value of unknown resistance okay so we have so four methods to measure a low resistance ma actually that is ammeter voltmeter method kelvin's double bridge potentiometer and ductor basically ammeter voltmeter is nothing but v is equal to ir ma that's a normal uh, resistance uh, calculation uh, so that is v is equal to ir no so from that r is equal to v by i normally uh, what we will know if we know voltage and current we will know the resistance right so that is the first method and kelvin double bridge is a the, this this is one one here what is the advantage of kelvin double bridge um, compared to all means kelvin double bridge will gives uh, minor reading also ma means uh, what i want to say means uh, we have to measure minimum resistance also okay milli ohms okay so that's why mostly uh, for low resistance calculation we will prefer kelvin's double bridge okay and this is a modification of winston bridge ma see this is a theory uh, and this is a circuit diagram ma actually circuit diagram for kelvin double bridge and this is a kit diagram okay i'll show you these uh, connections in the on the kit but before that i'll uh, tell you see this is cp Uh, p c these are c c means current coils p p means potential coils ma and this is a, a multiplier galvanometer push buttons galvanometer sensitivity minimum and maximum and slide wire ma main dial okay and this is a circuit diagram okay so bridges are nothing uh, mostly when we are calculating anything we have to keep the one reference value right so that's why by uh, that's why mostly we are going for bridges so bridges nothing but ma p q r s or else in capacitance or inductance also we are uh, connected in bridges type only the main uh, difference is just we are giving uh, there we are giving ac supply here i am giving the dc supply okay bridges nothing but ma when we connected these uh, resistances if we, if we uh, if we keep maintain the one value at the constant we have to calculate the other one In between, in between, in between, we will uh, keep the galvanometer. So uh, by that, we will measure the uh, normal deflections of current, normal deflections of the current. By minimizing the deflections, we will know the exact value of what we have to want. I mean, what we want. Okay. So this is a circuit diagram, and this is a procedure. Ma. okay so as i told across the ratio pq we adjusted to particular value we have to adjust that's it by adjusting those values only we uh, by adjusting those values and we will uh, see the galvanometer deflection and we will measure the uh, unknown parameter it may be res resistance capacitance inductance voltage okay so the balance is similar to obtained for different ratios of pq okay so this is a r is equal to p by q into s of course r we have to calculate unknown resistance so p by q into s okay normally um, uh, what uh, if bridges means p by q is equal to r by s or p by p q is equal to r s we have to calculate like that no so from that we have to we are uh, taking r is equal to p by q into s okay so here uh, r is unknown resistance what we have to find p is variable resistance we have to vary and q is also variable resistance and s is a standard resistance okay so this is a uh, tabular column observed resistance and calculated resistance so already we know observed resistance means uh, we know some idea right what we how much we got so that's one and we have to calculate by using this uh, kit okay so this is a kit ma this is a kit actually okay so this is a kit i already told you this is a battery battery see I am giving two volts. Okay, 
and this is a current normal I kept in normal and this is a sliding verma we have to change in a milli ohms ok and this one multi uh, just main dial ok just by changing these resistances P uh, Q and P and Q sorry uh, yeah P and Q variable resistance ok and this is a multiplier see these are uh, C1 P1 P2 C2 current coils and potential coils ok see this is a resistance one 0.2 ohms see 0.2 ohms here already we know 0.2 but we have to calculate that 0.2 by using this kit ok if uh, if uh, we got deflections or we if we got deflections we have to minimize the deflections if uh, we can't def uh, we can't uh, reduce the deflections means we have to change the kit mark so means if error is increases we have to change the kit ok and this is a uh, unknown resistance 0.5 ohms 0.1 ohms 0.05 uh, ohms 0 0.05 ohms ok so here I am showing for 0.2 ohms ok see already uh, switch it switched on ok see this is the initial final mark Wha uh, what is the use of these push buttons means by pressing these uh, initial and final buttons we have to see the galvanometer deflection see see this is a galvanometer see I am uh, normally basically it, uh, resistance in 30 milli ohms basic one multiplier is 10 and this is uh, 1 ohm 1 milli ohms right so now we will see is if uh, deflection is there or not see basically first we have to see the initial one see its deflection is there ok if deflection is uh, if, if no deflection we uh, uh, no I mean a pointer will not move ma. see it's moving no so final see we uh, the main aim objective is to minimize this deflection ok so we have to vary this one see I'm changing 20 and I'm changing this one at uh, 3 now we will see going back right so I'm reducing uh, 2.4 okay now we will see somewhat right so we'll keep it 2 slight difference only you know so that's why I am just changing the millions see we have to see like this if it's uh, going beyond we have to increase one see again it's going Now I am changed uh, this milli ohms uh, 22 milli ohms and now I am pressing, pressing initial one see it is not changing so no deflection right so no deflection ok now we have to calculate uh, unknown resistance from the kit diagram how means see here observed resistance is how much 0.2 right 0.2 ohms so calculate resistance means uh, how how we have to calculate means here how much we got 30 into point, uh, 0.8 sorry point 0.8 uh, point 0.9 okay so 30 into point 
ओके थर्टी इंटू पॉइंट नाइन ओके टोटल इंटू मल्टीप्लायर सी हाउ मच मल्टीप्लायर टेन सो टेन दट ईक्वल टू हाउ मच विल गेट नियर टू जीरो पॉइंट टू ओके सो इफ इट्स कैलिकुले इफ अब्जर्व रेसिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू कैलिकुलेट रेसिस्टेंस एरर इज जीरो ओके एरर इज लो एरर इज जीरो सो नो नीड टू चेंज द किट इफ एरर इज मोर वी हैव टू चेंज द रेसिस्टेंस वैल्यू और वी हैव टू चेक द किट ओके सो लाइक दिस वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द अनोन रेसिस्टेंस फॉर डिफरेंट रेसिस्टेंस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव ओम्स एंड जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वी हैव वी कैलकुलेटेड फॉर जीरो पॉइंट टू ओके सी दिस इज अ किट डायग्राम ओके दैट्स इट